Next video we're going to configure a couple of basic uh, flow uh, UI flows to appear for the account and the opportunity as we navigate between the two. And so let's just have a quick look at those particular flows so you can see what they look like. So I'm going to enter into the setup menu and uh, open those up. So I do have a number of flows that I'm going to reference in, a, in later videos, uh, but the ones we'll focus on at the moment are just this uh, open account flow. And all this one's designed to do is show you the name of the record that you're looking at in the flow. Uh, purposes of video videos isn't really to teach you flow but to show you how the interaction works with dynamic flow um, so the key thing here is I have a display uh, element in the flow and um, it's displaying a single uh, variable uh, which is actually from an s object variable that's passed in so it's showing the name here so the naming of the variables is quite important so I actually had to create a variable called flow tb underscore record and that was an s object variable of the, of the appropriate type for this flow that you're going to use. Um, it's important that you mark it as input only so that the component can pass in the record and uh, that's it basically as long as you have a, a, a variable called flow tb underscore record and it'll give you an error if you haven't got that uh, if you've typed it incorrectly and um, then it'll pass it in and you can do whatever you like with it. So um, let's go ahead and configure that. So per the message on the screen it says go to the custom metadata types and uh, use the uh, name of the object which we're looking at which is account and um, specify which flow um, you want to actually use. So we're just going to open up another setup window and uh, go to the custom metadata section. To configure that for account and then we'll also do that for opportunity so you can you can see how it kind of changes to data so the package that was installed comes with the dynamic flow component custom metadata type you want to go and click manage records next to that and there's not many fields on this um, the label of the record makes no difference. I tend to just use the same. Oops, I tend to just use the same as what I'm using for the uh, re the actual official name. So it's this one that really has to match what it's telling you about in in this field here, in this message. And then your uh, flow needs to be the actual name of your flow. So in this case, um, that's not this name here. That's kind of like the label of it. If you uh, Go back to look at your list of your flows. Is actually kind of the API name. Got a bit too far back there. So if I just click on that one, you can see uh, that's the unique name of it, and that's that's the one I want to put in here. So as simple as that. So save that, and then uh, if I actually go and uh, refresh this page the com the light the dynamic lightning component and flow component will pick up the association between account and that flow and then the next time we open it up we should see our flow has run so indeed it has shown the display and it's got Burlington textiles now if I go off and navigate um, to an opportunity for example You'll see the utility bar remains open, but the message changes, and again, it's back to the same message we had before because we haven't configured the opportunity. So, we'll go ahead and, and do that just as we did before. Just go into the metadata, custom metadata, and uh, give it the name. And again, I've already got one called Opportunity Flow. Which is created exactly the same way as the as the account one. And uh, if I go and uh, refresh this, 
Yeah, it'll also run that uh, opportunity flow as well. Okay, so uh, I can switch between uh, different uh, records of different types and you can see it in action as it's actually updating things. Now it's updating the account. I go back to an opportunity. You can see it's changing. The utility bar just refreshes. Now it's actually also uh, watching what's going on in the record itself. So if I go and actually edit the opportunity and um, change the opportunity name by sticking an X on the front of it, hit save then not only does it refresh here but it refreshes the flow as well so that's quite useful if you've got anything that the flow is sensitive to in terms of other fields um, then you can uh, you know that it'll get refreshed incidentally any of the fields that are passed in on the S object are the fields that are shown on this screen here so you, you can re-query any other fields that you need but, but it will pass in the fields that are on the screen into the flow okay so that's that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you how to connect a flow, a UI flow, to different uh, objects, and you can see the navigation and how it reflects and dynamically refreshes which flow is invisible, uh, invisible to the user.